Hi, this is Andy Wood with Titan Home Lending. I'm just celebrating my 21st year in mortgage banking, but I wanted to have a quick video to explain people why we have to document all their cash to close in a purchase transaction. There are several laws in place that all banks and mortgage companies have to abide by. There's a Patriot Act, there's also the Anti-Money Laundering Act, and then each specific loan program has their own underwriting guidelines, FHA, VA, conventional, and USDA, where we have to document your down payment. It's extremely important to pay attention to these particular rules. First of all, when we're within 90 days of your uh, writing up a contract, we need to get all your bank statements within the last 90 days. What I want you to pay attention to is make sure there aren't any overdraft uh, statements on your bank account or any NSF fees. These are now treated as late payments, just as if you made a late payment to a creditor or a car payment or a credit card. So it's very important to make sure you don't have these. If you do have these, contact me immediately and we'll suggest that you open up a new bank statement so that it doesn't have any of these NSF fees. The second part about that is we have to document all of your down payment. We're required by these laws to do so. Please do not deposit any cash into your bank statements no matter what you do. We cannot use cash as a bank statement. So you cannot use cash for the deposit or purchase of a home under any circumstances. If you're gonna get a gift from a family member, please contact me and I'll walk you through the steps of how to get a proper gift from a blood relative or family member. The next step we wanna make sure is anything that you deposit into your account, you wanna make sure you have documentation on it. If you're doing a 401k cash in or you're doing a 401k loan, save the deposit slips, save the documents. If you're getting reimbursement for something you paid for somebody, please get a copy of the check and perhaps a letter from that person explaining what that deposit is. It's very important that we document every single deposit that you do. The other part about that is when you're getting a gift, it's important for us to give you a gift letter. We are required to document that your donor has money in the bank, so we need a copy of their bank statement, and then we need a copy of the transfer, so you, they can either write you a check, they can wire the funds into your account, but either way, we have to document that this is coming from an acceptable source. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. These cash to close requirements are required on every loan, and I feel it's very important to get to you today. Thank you so much.